Down. Mathis sets up the screen to Paul, batted. Johnson got the pop. Pass incomplete, and it brings up a fourth down for the Indians. With 8.08 to go. Dip code a punt again. Roberson back for Central Valley. Dip code with a nice kick. Bounces at the 48 yard line. It takes a nice roll. For the Indians inside the 35. And they'll watch it go dead at the 33. 7.53 to go here. Fourth quarter. Central Valley in control. 35 14. You're watching the Pendles Indians Football Network. Whitehead this way, looking for a lane. They get to the outside, no. But does a nice job to pick up seven. Jordan Whitehead, tackle by number 23, Frederick Squires. And six. Pick up a six, four. it'll be second down and four. No shame in this one. Remember Central Valley, they've been in existence for about five years. And every one of those years, well, maybe once they lost in the semifinals, but four, maybe five of those years, they've been to Heinz Field. Whitehead. Carried Hamden Wyatt to the 49-yard line, 10 yards. Number three, Jordan Whitehead in the Central Valley. First down. On the tackle, number seven, Malik Russell, and number eight, Hamden Wyatt. Johnson Preston to the 47. Johnson. Pick up of four. Johnson. That'll be second down and six. I think at this point, Central Catholic or Central Valley looking to just get the clock moving. Whitehead. Indian string it out nicely. And Malik Russell. Whitehead. We'll hold Whitehead for no gain. Sean Roy have to go out for his helmet tank because his helmet came off. Johnson for two. Tackled by Emmanuel Johnson. Johnson tackled by Johnson. And number 71, Shaheem Smith Young. Johnson will drop back the punt for Central Valley. Mathis back for Penn Hills. Watch this one go over his head and roll into the end zone. Johnson's Penn Hills catches a break. 4.37 to go, fourth quarter. Central Valley 35. Or was a penalty flag somewhere? 
Check the call here. Ordinarily it's about holding against uh, the receiving team. Officials are discussing if it's a holding call downfield against the Indians, it should be a post possession foul. Which means the Indians should just have more, half the distance marked off following the play. Officials are going to figure this one out here. Oh, so let's take a time out. We'll figure it out whenever they come on. 4.37 to go, 35-14, Central Valley over Pendles. You're watching the Indians Football Network. Well, the officials bought your call here. They call holding against the Indians after the ball's kick, so it's Indians' possession. But they bring it back to the line of scrimmage, march off 10 yards, and give Central Valley a first down. Roberson, get into the outside. We'll have a first down. And goes out of bounds at the 24-yard line. Johnson. 11 yards. And that should be a first down Preston for Central Ryan Valley. Robertson, the ball carrier, picks up a warrior first down. Callaghan will throw towards the end zone, has a man, and a pass too far. Pass, intended for pass was intended for Stephine. The Indians had Malik Russell on the coverage. And Isaiah Jones, and it'll be second down and 10. And that stops the clock with 4.24 to go. The scrum is moving still. Officials finally blow the whistle dead after a four-yard pickup. And a late flag. And there's an injured Indian. Glanton is down at the 25-yard line. We'll check the penalty. We'll take a break. 4-10 to go, fourth quarter. Central Valley up 35-14. You're watching the Indians Football Network. Central Valley just pounding their way down into the inside the 10 yard line. Number 19, Ben Marilero, the ball carrier. Tackled by number 64, Jordan Henderson. Gain of three, second down seven. The ball on the eight yard line. Central Valley maybe a yard for Ben Barilaro. Barilaro. Tackle on the play by Daryl Holloway. Tackle by number 21, Daryl Holloway. Third down five. The ball on the six yard line. Final scores, Beaver, Beaver 35, Beaver Falls nothing.
Central Valley to the outside. Ryan Roberson. Roberson down to about the two, maybe three yard line. Tackle by Holloway. Hamden also in on the tackle. Wyatt also in on the stop. Fourth down, one. Fourth and one for Central ball. Valley. Final scores, Beaver 35, Beaver Falls nothing. New Brighton 49, Summit Academy 8, Southside 31, Fort Carey 12. Looks like Central Valley is going to be held just short. That's a will. Ben Barrelero with the carry, stuffed on the play by ben Jordan Barrera Henderson. The ball carrier, stopped short of the first down. Penn Hills ball, first and ten. Two oh six to go. It's but the it's Indians' ball. Number sixty-four, Jordan Henderson. The Shannick, 48, Riverside, 14. Indians will start at their own two-yard line. 56, Hopewell, 7. And there's a timeout on the field. 2.06 to go here in the fourth quarter. Central Valley, 35, Penn Hills, 14. You're watching the Indians Football Network. Two minutes, six seconds left in the game. Timeout, Penn Hills. Some highlights of the game for Central Valley on our Root Sports feed. Mathis keeps it himself, looking for someone to go. Has a lane. Mathis with a big carry up across the 30. Mathis across the 40, the 50. Not one man to beat. Holds on to the football but goes down at the Central Valley 38-yard line. All the way to the Central Valley 38. 60 yards. For Mathis. And he may just be the leading rusher now. No, not. No. Must have lost one of his last one. First and 10, Penn Hills ball in the Central Valley, 38. That would have been nice to have seen a 98 yard run. Indians keep it on the ground. Milan Smith. Line. Tackled by number 10, Kyle Green. Only second down and seven. Clock approaching a minute. Pick up a three, second down, seven. The ball on the 35. Dawes will go in motion. And it'll be Campbell with nowhere to go. He'll lose a yard. Deshaun Campbell brought down by number 34, Nick Mohan. Also, number 80, John Malley. Athens will bring the Indians to the line, which could very possibly be the final play of this game. Indians will send trips to the right. Kyrie Stevens lined up off sides. And the officials see it and call it. Five yard penalty against Central Valley offside. Correction, Penn Hills. Mathis launching one downfield, has a man and a pass almost intercepted, but the clock expires, that'll do it.
Quick wrap up here. The Indians led 7-0 on their opening drive. Central Valley on their first play of the game. 75 yards for Jordan Whitehead. Tied it up. And then the Indians, two fumbles and a blocked punt for a touchdown. Give Central Valley 21 points on three turnovers in the first half. It was 28-14 at halftime. 35-14, your final score. Only good news out of this is the Pendles Indians will be home next Friday night, and the game does not count towards conference standings. Indians lost tonight to a very good Central Valley Warrior team, a team that's been to Heinz Field the last five years. Won the championship there in 2011. So, nothing to hang your hats over, but the Indians need to improve on the mistakes and quit shooting themselves in the foot. Hopefully it'll work out, and we'll check on the condition of Tyler Glanton. Hopefully all is well with him. He's taken to a local hospital after what appeared to be a, an ugly knee injury. Once again, your final score from Central Valley High School. Central Valley Warriors 35, the Penn Hills Indians 14. Thanks to Root Sports for the video feed tonight so we could have the highlights and the great uh, camera shots of the Indians game. Special thanks to Miss Helen Navari for directing tonight's telecast. Jeff Snodgrass for the stats. And for you for joining us here on Comcast. I'm Bill Navari. We'll see you next week right here on the Penn Hills Indians Football Network.